This video is sponsored by Ajar Productions. I'm going to show you the coolest thing in PowerPoint, and it's only going to take three minutes. But what is it? It must be the magical morph transition, surely? Not a chance. Ah, then the wonders of designer to bring your content to life effortlessly. Ha! No way! Zoom! It must be something cool with Zoom. Nope. Today, we are going old school. Old school like the old school. Get ready, because what you're about to see will blow your mind. It's the coolest animation effect ever. Squiggletastic, and all in three minutes. So let's take a look at how that works. To start with, I'm going to draw a circle, then go to the Animations tab on the ribbon and choose Add Animation on the right-hand side. Scroll down and find the motion paths where you can then choose a custom path to create any shape you like. And then when you play it, it goes through, but it's a bit angular, not what you want. Well, with any motion path in PowerPoint, you can right click on it and choose Edit Points from the pop up menu. And each of these little black dots here then gives you the ability to control the Bezier vector curve. It's not really very smooth though, is it? So you can right click more and choose Smooth Point, which now gives you the lovely smooth curves that you're after. To be honest, it's a little bit fiddly to do that in PowerPoint. So although you can, if you prefer to create your own custom path in something like Illustrator, you absolutely can do and then import it so you've got something nice like that. The problem is you've now got to try and map that in PowerPoint, which is awkward. But if you use the free Bright Slide add-in for PowerPoint that you can download from the friendly Bright Carbon website, you can copy this path that you've drawn, select the object that you want to move, go to the Animations function on the right-hand side and choose the Utilities tool here. Under Motion Paths, you can choose to paste that shape as a motion path and that will now map perfectly for you, which is terrific. And now when you play it, it's all sorts of smooth, which is lovely, but it's still not the effect that we want. What I'm then going to do is to copy this object loads. So I've got 20, 30, maybe even 40 of them or so on the slide. I'm then going to select all of them, line them all up on top of each other, right click on all these motion paths and choose to start with previous. And now when you play them, they all move at the same time. But if you add a very tiny delay to all of these to stagger them, then you get the effect. But doing that manually in three minutes, not a chance. However, if you select all of these again, go to again the Bright Slide add-in and animations, we've got another utility called a waterfall delay. That gives you the ability to change what the delay is on all these animations individually. I'm going to choose 0.01 seconds there and then OK. That puts a stagger on them. And so now in slideshow mode, ah, really words cannot describe it other than wow, cool, super impressive. The applications really are endless to be able to do all sorts of wonderful things. Cue uproarious applause and adoration for PowerPoint.